Let's get started. Welcome everyone. Hello and welcome to our celebration preview for National Charter Schools Week 2023. I'm Jennifer Diaz, the Vice President of Communications at the National Alliance for Public Charter Schools. We are so excited to get the celebration started. Um, and this year is especially exciting because our week coincides with Teacher Appreciation Week. So we're going to put our focus on celebrating and thanking teachers of the charter school movement. During today's presentation, you will hear about the announcement, announcements and events that we are hosting during the week, and we will walk through our partner toolkit material. You will receive the toolkit in an email after this presentation, and also the link will be in the chat. Please feel free to post questions in the chat as we go, and we will get to as many as we can during our time together today. And please feel free to email us anytime and let us know how we can support you, and we'll post our emails in the chat. But before we hop into the schedule and the toolkit, let me introduce the National Alliance comms and marketing team and what they will talk about on today's call. Melinda Tolliver, our Director of Digital Strategy, will introduce our toolkit and schedule and highlight some of the talking points we are using during the week. Haley Pham, our Coordinator of Social and Digital Media, will give an overview of the graphics and the social media materials we have prepared. Alana Klein, our Senior Manager of Media Strategy, will walk us through the press templates that are in the toolkit. And Brittany Baker, our Manager of Communications and Marketing, will tell you about our new podcast and how we will be featuring National Charter Schools Week on our podcast. So let's dive in. There are three big things we are celebrating next week, and they are, we have seven teacher changemakers from around the country, eight congressional champions, and we'll celebrate the release of our Charter Schools Program Impact Report. For our annual Changemaker Award, we've selected seven outstanding teachers from Alabama, Colorado, Florida, Washington, D.C., New Mexico, Texas, and Wisconsin. These educators have wonderful stories to tell about how teaching and leading is a calling and a passion, and they will help shine a, line, shine a light on the teaching profession and how we can all work together to support teachers in our charter schools. Our, our annual Charter School Champion Awards are going to eight federal lawmakers from Arizona, California, Florida, Georgia, Louisiana, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, and Texas. These public servants have shown amazing support for the charter school sector and the charter schools program over the last year, and we thank them for their support. Speaking of the charter schools program, um, the Charter Schools Program, or CSP for short, is the nation's only source of dedicated funding to support the creation, expansion, and replication of public charter schools. The annual CSP Impact Report explores the impact of the federal program on communities around the country and makes the case for increased funding for the program. In the report, we'll explain the charter school model, offer a brief history of the CSP, profile the inspiring grantees from around the country that are receiving these funds and doing wonderful things with them and address persistent misconceptions about the charter school movement. So these are the three, the big three ways we are celebrating and the things we are releasing next week. And there will be some surprises along the way. So do keep your eyes peeled and stay tuned to our social media channels. Um, let me turn it over to Melinda. Melinda, will you tell us about the toolkit and take us through the schedule for next week, please? Great, thanks, Jennifer. Um, happy to do so, and especially excited about this year's celebration um, and our spotlight on teachers. Um, confirming, you all can see my screen? Yes. Great. Uh, so here's our partner toolkit. Uh, we will share out a link during now and also after as well. Um, it pretty much gives an overview of the week and how we're celebrating. This first link here links out to our landing page, uh, which is something you'll be able to publicly share with anyone who wants to celebrate. The link to the toolkit will also be here, um, as well as details about the event and the ability for them to sign up to receive any announcements. Back over to the toolkit, we have um, an overview of the schedule of the announcements and events. Uh, so if you ever need to go back and reference it, it'll be here for you whenever you need it. As far as the talking points to incorporate throughout our National Charter Schools Week celebration, uh, we have some big highlights right here of what we'll be talking about during the week and what we hope that you will too. Um, and of course, it's always our big message uh, that charter schools are public, always free, and always open to students. Um, they serve 
million students uh, and two thirds of those are from low income black or Latino communities. Uh, they're always student centered and serve the unique needs um, in their communities in ways that district schools uh, can't the same way that we can. Um, we're an important part of the public education community. That's one that we, we really like to echo. And of course, uh, we have some pandemic stats here of the shifts from that we had seen and tracked in our enrollment report um, this past year. All right, um, so to sharing the celebration on social media, uh, I'll kick it over to Kaylee to share out the ways that you all can participate there. Hi, so we hope you all join us to celebrate on social media and spread the word. Um, we have a variety of graphics for you to use, starting with um, our coalition graphics that you can share with your community to share that you're proud charter school leaders, schools, teachers, advocates, school leaders, and alums. Um, and then the next group of graphics we have are celebrating teachers um, that you can share out in support of Teacher Appreciation Week. Awesome, thank you, Kaylee. Um, we are so excited to host an event on Capitol Hill on May 10th, where each of our seven teacher changemakers will join partners, advocates, parents, school leaders, congressional members, and Hill staff to talk about what being a teacher at a charter school means to them and the solutions they have to some of the challenges facing the teaching profession today. You can find more details in the toolkit, and if you are in the DC area, we invite you to join us live in person. Please send in your RSVP via the link in the toolkit. Um, and at this event, we will also highlight our eight federal champions and their contributions to the charter school movement. So do join us and tune in. Uh, we're so excited for this event. Um, Alana, let me turn it over to you to go over some of our press release materials. Hi everyone. Um, so as usual, if you've been in the charter sector for a while, you'll know we always share templates to help your own media and press outreach in, in various ways. So the first one is a media advisory. And in all of these templates, you'll see lots of brackets and that is where you enter your own personal information. And again, this is an option that we're providing and take or leave as much as you would like for any of these templates. So first one is a media advisory for any local events that you might be hosting, um, whether it's at a local school or to support your CSO or anything like that. Um, classic media advisory template for, for you there. Then moving on is similar style, but a general press release template that, that nods to the week in its entirety. And it includes a quote from Nina Reese, our CEO. And just a note, this really echoes the press release that we're sending out. Um, so it's all the same messaging, all the same talking points, um, but it just leaves room for you to personalize it if reaching out to media is something that's interesting to you. And the last one is, which we'll get to, um, but a sneak peek of the change makers and champions. If they're, so we have these awards and if change makers honor teachers, champions honor legislators, and if one of those individuals are from your state and you'd like to celebrate them, this template would be relevant for that and includes a little bit about those awards and why they're so important for our sector. So thank you. Thanks, Alana. And um, as Jennifer said earlier, we're looking forward to the in-person event on Capitol Hill, um, including a panel of teachers to learn more about their point of view and celebrate their amazing impact in the classroom. And don't fret if you're unable to make it in person, we've got you covered. We're working on a live stream for the event. However, the panel discussion will be uploaded to YouTube. You can also listen to the discussion on the National Alliance's podcast, Get Schooled on Public Education, hosted by yours truly. But this time, our teammate and senior advisor of school support, George Parker, will be asking the questions. In the meantime, be sure to listen and subscribe to our, pack, 
to our podcast on your favorite platform. Back to you, Jennifer. Awesome. Thank you, Brittany. Thank you, team. And now we have one request for everyone, everyone watching and listening in. Please share with us how you are celebrating National Charter Schools Week so we can amplify across our channels and add into our week's highlights. Drop your details in the chat here or email us. And don't forget to use hashtag thank a teacher starting on Sunday and hashtag charter love on Friday and tag us at Charter Alliance. So now uh, let me turn to the chat to see if we have any questions. And I'm looking in the chat. Um, is there a file for the white version of the National Charter Schools Week logo? Absolutely. Um, you can see it on our screens. So I'll be happy to make sure that we have that uh, before the week begins, probably uh, right after this call. Um, another thing that I also wanted to call out as part of our toolkit, uh, we will have graphics for each of the change makers and champions. So if you want to join us in celebrating them specifically, that will also be available in the Dropbox um, after we announce those. Awesome. Thank you. Other questions put in the chat. Um, are the Zoom backgrounds available? I think they could be. Yes. I'd like them. <laughs> for sure. We'll put them in the Dropbox. Excellent question. As I see a comment from Kip, that's wonderful. We can't wait to amplify your teacher award. That's super awesome. Thank you. We'll leave it open for a minute or two for more questions. Oh, I see another one. Uh, branding images look great. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> we appreciate that. And I hope these materials are helpful for you all to share throughout the week. We'll just pause for any other questions to come through the chat. Which hashtag? Okay, hashtags again. Um, and team, jump in and, and help me out here. But um, hashtag thank a teacher. Because again, we're going to focus on teachers all week long, starting on Sunday. Um, so we're going to begin the week with a little gratitude and thank thank our favorite teachers. Um, and then on Friday, but you could use this anytime. Uh, we will have hashtag Charter Love Day, um, and that's just really a way for us to come together on social and show all the ways why we love charter schools and why charter schools are best for our students and teachers and leaders and families. So to recap, that's hashtag charter love, hashtag thank a teacher, and hashtag charter schools week. Excellent. Okay, we'll pause for 30 more seconds. I'm watching the chat. Can we drop the hashtag in the chat? Yep, team is on it, thank you. So reminder, you'll get an email uh, with a link to our toolkit and other details just after this, uh, just after this webinar. Check out our schedule and follow along on our socials as we um, release some exciting things next week. Um, do let us know how we can support you. Um, email us, reach out to us. Um, we are here for you and want to share all the wonderful things that you all are doing during National Charter Schools Week. So I'll pause for just two more seconds to see if we have another question. Okay, well, thank you all so much for joining us today. I hope this was helpful and I hope you share these messages, these leaders and this whole week with your networks. Again, please let us know how we can support you. Happy Charter Schools Week. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Thanks, guys.